Or let's welcome CEO of Geltrude Business Technology Solutions, Michael Geltrude. Michael, good morning. Okay, so obviously when Biden first took office, one of the first things that he did was repeal Trump's regulations increasing discounts for prescription drugs. Now the administration seems to be punishing these companies for increasing drug prices. Well, obviously, Michael, the cost of literally everything else has increased. Uh, what do you make of Biden's new policy? I think we could all agree inflation has simply gotten out of control. And more than anything, we have our senior citizens who are being affected because they're really relying on a steady stream of income from the nest egg that they've built. So I think that we do need to do something to make sure that the uh, prescription drug companies aren't taking advantage of them. Maybe, you know, the Inflation Reduction Act is keeping everything in line with inflation, which I think is fair, considering that the prescription drugs in the United States are costing two to three times more than they are in other developed countries. And that just doesn't feel right. Yeah. And it's also extremely hypocritical for Biden to punish these drug companies when they when he is raising prices on literally everything. And a lot of these are life saving medications that people literally need. Um, so let's talk. We've talked a lot about uh, how people just don't want electric vehicles. And now we're seeing the few people who have gone electric end up having buyer's remorse. Okay, so with nearly half, yes, Michael, half saying they plan on going back to gas powered vehicles. So aside from the infrastructure just not being impl implemented to sustain going electric, it seems Americans are just not really enjoying the EV experience at all. I was watching this video of someone who had an EV. He said it took him 12 hours to charge his electric vehicle. And after 12 hours, it was only 42% charge. It can go 130 miles. That is it. Uh, what do you see in store for the car market if the government continues to keep pushing these EVs? I think you're spot on there. Right now, the electric vehicle market is just inconvenient for people. And I think that's the key word here. Um, I think it's important to touch on the infrastructure because it's hard to find a charging station for a lot of people out mm. there. So now you're on a road trip, maybe you're going across a state line and you have to plan your entire route around finding an electric uh, vehicle charging station that may be 50 miles out of your way. It's just inconvenient for people right now. There's temperature restrictions, there's uh, waiting for the electric vehicle chargers. Again, keyword here, inconvenient. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, you think about those road trips, maybe out west, Midwest, you're driving. You don't even see a gas station for maybe an hour or two. You're not going to see an electric vehicle charging station. Um, so how about this? CDK Global, a key software provider for car dealerships all across the nation, is now saying it's brought several lots back online after a back-to-back -back cyber attack last week, causing it to shut down dealers' power all across America. CDK, CDK saying it plans on restoring its systems to other dealers in phases, though does not believe it will fully restore power before June 30th. Um, Michael, I know a lot of these dealers were resorting back to pen and paper to help customers instead of going online and using their computers. Uh, what impacts do you think this will have on auto industry during its main car buying season? When you think of the 4th of July, you think about barbecues, you think about beaches, and a lot of people think about buying cars. Mm. You see those wacky inflatables in front of the car <laughs> dealerships. This is a big time of the year for them to sell vehicles. And now all of a sudden, the system that they use every single day is down. That's like going, a job, going to a job and not having a computer anymore. It's almost not you're almost not even able to work so i really feel for the dealerships here i know they're being told the end of june june 30th the system's going to be back online but this was a major a major cyber attack here i don't see this getting resolved fully for a few more weeks and it's going to have a huge impact i think we're going to see a lot more car sales going on later in the summer mm -hmm. but it's going to play into effect on their on their year numbers because they lost out on this critical time of the year to sell cars yeah definitely I mean CDK is the software used by thousands of dealerships all over, not just in the United States, but also in Canada as well. I mean, this had a major impact on them. Uh, Michael Geltrude, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It was such a pleasure having you on. Thank you.